liftoff. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, Scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. Atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 outpiece. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, Find go out at what that is. The M2B something. Houston, Atlantis, copies, go at problem. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. systems in good shape as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude downrange 23 miles. Already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape as are the uh, hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units, and the fuel cells. No issues uh, heading to orbit. Atlantis, two engine Maroon. Houston, Atlantis copies, two engine Maroon. Three minutes into the flight, Atlantis. The MPS-T2 out P is a deucer only, and the ASA-1 is a power only. And there you have the shuttle Atlantis after a beautiful launch on a gorgeous day, this time heading to the Hubble telescope for some major repairs. And this is considered an especially risky mission. In fact, this shuttle packing twice the normal 12-day supply of provisions just in case that something goes wrong in space and they are stranded there before the Endeavor can come and pick up this seven astronaut crew. Let me bring back in our veteran space correspondent, Jay Barbree. Uh, Jay, tell me how you interpret this uh, liftoff. Everything just went beautifully, Contessa, except they had a, what they call a small transient at the beginning. They had to take no action. I don't know precisely what this was. It had something to do with the difference of the three main engines, but everything is flying fine. They're right on schedule now. They got off the solids when they were supposed to, and they're beyond having to return, come back to the Cape in case of an emergency. If they have to now, they could fly across the Atlantic and land in Marone, Spain. Otherwise, they go on into orbit. And right now, everything looks like it's right on schedule with about another three minutes to go before they enter orbit.